Yeah, I think it's fair to say that Jeremy Hunt, as a person, is quite a technocrat, uh, rather than necessarily who's someone ideologically massively driven as a politician. Here is uh, the budget, by the way, uh, issued, given to us in the last uh, couple of minutes or so. He was on his feet for, what, just under a, an hour's time. I think overall, when you look at the reflection of what is in this uh, budget, primarily it is about not rocking the boat overall. Uh, the Conservative Party is massively scarred by what happened, clearly with the mini-budget last year, absolutely determined not to spook the markets again. No real big uh, surprises. Yes, they went a little further, particularly in the terms of pensions and childcare that had essentially been briefed beforehand, but no big rabbits out of the hat. And I agree with what Liam was saying in terms of where is the opposition from this budget going to come from. I don't think primarily it is going to come uh, from the Labour Party, who will carry on with that mantra of the fact that the Conservative Party have had 13 years in government, whether you feel a hell of a lot better off now than you do uh, since 2010. But the big question is, where are the Conservative right wing of the party going to go with this? Because in the end, yes, they may be pleased with some of these investment zones, mm -hmm. and yes, they might be pleased with some of the plans for growth and to get people back into work again, but taxes are still going to be incredibly high. In fact, the tax intake mark as a percentage of GDP is expected to re reach uh, record highs by the end of this Parliament. <laughs> There will be a lot of Conservatives who will be very, very uncomfortable with all of that. And I would just also add that on the childcare reform and expansion of the provision there, and with taxes, uh, the tax breaks around pensions, I mean, this is also primarily a budget that is going to benefit uh, wealthier off people in the sense that if you are in work or if you are a high earner later on in life. For those at the other end of the income scale, it's more stick rather than carrots to try and get them into work. So all in all, a pretty conservative budget, but in the end, slightly tinkering around the edges. The big question is, will the Conservative right be sold on these tax increases that continue uh, within a Conservative government? And that's where we'll have to politically watch out for the reaction, as I said, from the right to Conservative body. Just one note, uh, Steve Bray is out again today. I don't know whether any of these tax initiatives uh, about getting people back into work might convince this man, uh, finally, it's on job to actually get a proper job. I don't know. We'll have to wait. Yes, but uh, cho choosing the, um, obviously, mood music um, quite carefully with, I think, ABBA, money, money, money. However, uh, let's just reflect very quickly. I mean, is there a bit more wriggle room for the government as we head towards a general election? Looking at those figures, OBR forecast inflation down to 2.9% by the year, uh, end of the year. We're not in technical recession and there will be future uh, years of growth in the next two or three years. Yeah, the forecasts are undoubtedly not as bad um, as had been uh, predicted. Clearly, the government will have a little bit, I think, of wriggle room, though it must be said some of the government's ambitions on this are pretty limited. I mean, inflation will almost certainly fall, or almost certainly half, irrespective almost of what the government does. That's just how inflation uh, works. And yes, we are expected to see now, I think, economic growth by the end of the year. So in some ways, yes, the government will point to the fact that things are getting better, though, as I say, that would be expected almost to happen irrespective of government intervention. I think the big question for the government is, you know, this is probably the second last budget before the general election. It's the last chance to kind of change the tanker significantly, if you like. I suspect next year is when we'll get the sweeties, is when we'll get the tax cuts to things like income tax and elsewhere in order to try and win people over just before that general election. So in the end, this is about steadying the markets. It's about ensuring they don't mess up like they did last time round. The next one will be about the giveaways, I suspect, okay. for the Conservative Party.